Okay, so welcome back to another SCR update. Our last update was 1.9, which only released about 10 days ago. And I only actually edited and recorded it just a couple of days ago, so we've got another update already. It features two new station upgrades, Ashton Park and I can't remember the other one. Um, and we've also got some new mass trains, so let's take a look at them. So as you can see, the 195 here is now the mesh train, and so is the 331 on connect, but they've also added a 195 to connect, which you have to buy the 331 to get. I don't know if I'll get both this video, we'll see, because that will be nearly all my points, but we'll get the waterline one first. Okay, so we're going to do Nuri Harbour to Colony on this train because it lets us see the new Ashton Park station. It also lets us see the new West Benton station, which I found out what the, new, the other station upgrade was, is West Benton. So we're going to go from... Well, we're going to go from New we'll go, we'll go from Nuri reverse and then get to West Benton, so... Okay, first thoughts, this looks quite good. I don't think we've seen these style of seats yet. I may be wrong, but I don't think we have. We've also kept the announcement board thingy. And some new tables. Sounds like some of the sounds have been redone, maybe as well. I believe with free car. Or oh, two car. Well, it's the same stop sign anyway. Okay, so the roof detail looks quite nice. Um, the interior is really nice as well. I think the carriage is alright, but I've seen better. Well, the couple of bits are good. It's just this bit's a bit bulky, but I don't know if it's that, like that in real life. And the cab's quite nice as well. I don't know if it's actually blue, well, blue slash purple in real life. But it looks quite nice. And this is another train that will probably be quite good for cab rides because you've got a nice big view like on the 707. It looks quite different from the front. I don't know if it's better for better or for worse, but it really looks very different. By the way, here's a tip if you're if you're trying to make videos or thumbnails and you want to get rid of some of the on-screen stuff to get rid of the driver's GUI, you can actually do shift G and then to configure so then you go to the keyboard-esque escape on your keyboard if you want to turn the mouse icon off or on you can do that as well the mouse icon off and you can do that it's useful for taking screenshots and stuff also for once it looks like for a new model we don't have any Z fighting in the train. I'll just shut the cab again. Yeah, none that I can see. I keep missing the stop markers. I need to pay more attention to those. Oh yeah, another thing that I was going to mention that's new in this update is 
as of 1.9, when the Morgantown fire we got upgraded, they for some reason put in a track to go to platforms 1 and 2, which were reserved for next. They fixed that off as of this update, and now it doesn't go there, because it had no reason to. I'm so bad at stopping today. Okay, there we go, we stopped properly this time. I think. Yeah, we did, nice. Okay, so now we're going to get to the... Well, we're about to get to the new West Benton station upgrade. Kind of excited to see what this looks like, because this station hasn't really had any attention for ages. Apart from the Matty statue that got added quite a while ago. Oh, it's not actually that much different, really. I expect, like, a full station revamp. But they've just detailed the walls here a bit, added some advertising. And there's a new station entrance, which has this quite nice looking mini 165 model. Or 166, I don't know. And the statue's still there. I think that's mostly it though. But it doesn't look like it's changed that much. Now apparently there's this new thing called fruit indicators, which lets you see what platforms you're going to come in on at your next station, but I can't seem to find them. I don't know if it's just a card thing. Because it's not down here either. And this is on the large GUI, which I don't have at the moment. So I think I'm right in saying that every station, apart from James Street, Airport West and Whitney Green, has now been updated on Waterline. An airport western James Street we can expect to see when apparently there's a one stop extension coming to the James Street line at some point. So we'll probably see that then, but I mean Whitney Green's kind of been updated because it got a new entrance at some point. But it wasn't a major rehaul. Well neither was West Bend to be fair. And we're now about to get to the new Ashland Park. And they've done it much better this time. Wow, this looks much better. Before this motorway just used to stop and now they've actually continued it. And more to like, the James Street line now goes that way over a level crossing. Yeah, this looks nice. I wonder if these shops are waiting to be named. Because most of the shops in the game are named at, no, at this point. But not those ones. Also, it looks like Ashton Park has lost its staggered platform. It used to have a very staggered platform. Oh, that's a much better transition to Connolly now. As you can see, the road goes through crosses the level crossing and then goes straight into Connolly. It's much more of a street, uh, smooth transition this time. So they might want to add some stuff here because that looks a bit better. But anyway we're at Connolly now and I'm liking. Okay so that's the new waterline stations and the new waterline class 195 mesh upgrade. There's also a, I believe 195 Mark 1, which I think is three carriages. I'll just have a look. So yeah, there's nothing really much different between the 195 and 195 Mark 1. It's just an extra car. And the fact that the 195 Mark 1 can't go on the Morgan's timeline because it's too long. Okay, so now it's time to waste all the rest nearly all the rest of my points, minus 400 on 
this train because I want to see what this looks like as well. Oh, and it looks like we've got a four car train as well the 195 Mark II. Oh, it's an extra 500 points, that's a bit of a scam. Okay, I'm probably not going to buy it. I, I can't even buy it anyway. But the only major difference really is the livery that is you can visually see. And the fact that it's diesel. So let's drive it. Okay, so here's the 195, sorry, 331. As you can see, they've added the rainbow livery again. I've got to turn the sound on so you can hear the actual train itself. Oh, actually, I'm a bit confused now. Because they said in the update that the junction here didn't exist anymore. Transfer them to the connect lines because it didn't need to. I don't know why they added that in. Well, sorry, kept it. Despite saying it wasn't in the update announcement, which I'll show at the end of the video. And we're here at Morganstown. Also, a nice train, honestly. Apparently they've also corrected the colours on the Voyager, but I can't really see any difference. Maybe they mean like down here, they changed it, but... I can't really see any difference to how it was before. I just noticed the wheels on the 220 and the 221 are different, the bogeys. Because look, here it's like that, and here it's like that. I actually didn't know that. So anyways, thank you for watching this 1.9.1 update video. It's obviously much less in this update than 1.9, but still had fun looking at all this new stuff, like Ashton Park, where we're still at now. Just waiting to get my training back into Benton, and while I'm doing that, make sure to subscribe and check out my 1.9 video if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and bye.